Hey guys, Constance here from CosmopolitanCornbread.com. So about a week or two ago, I put a post on my website and I thought I would go ahead and do a video about this as well because this is just a super simple tutorial and a lot of people have been looking for this information and so I thought I would just share it with all of you here directly on YouTube. And that is how I make my own foaming hand soap. A lot of stores right now have completely empty hand soap sections, but one thing that I'm still seeing a lot of is Castile soap. Castile soap is a very natural product. Uh, it's, it's been around forever and I really like using Castile soap. I've always got it in the house. I've been using it for several years now for a whole bunch of different things, including making homemade all-purpose cleaning spray that I use for glass, for surfaces, for pretty much anything that I need a cleaning spray for. So Castile soap is very, very multi-purpose. And a great big bottle like this one here, which is about a quart, costs about now it's going to vary depending on where you get it from, but I've seen this anywhere between $10 and $14. But when you are using this, you don't need much at all. And I like to use this to make my homemade foaming hand soap that I use here in the kitchen. And the great thing about this, like I said, this will run anywhere between $10 to $14, but I'm only going to use about a half of a cup of this to make 16 ounces of the foaming hand soap and if you buy pretty fragrant foaming hand soaps at the store or at the boutique <laughs> types of stores you're gonna pay probably that much just for one bottle whereas this nice big bottle is going to make you bottle after bottle after bottle of foaming hand soap so it is extremely cost effective no matter what is going on in the world, no matter uh, what time of year it is. And so this is something I started making quite a while ago and this is really the only kind of hand soap you will ever see on my kitchen counter in here. And the great thing about it, not only is it economical, but you can use essential oils to make it any fragrance that you want to. Uh, here in the kitchen, I'll often use citrus, like orange or lemon, but depending upon what's going on in the world, if it's cold and flu season. Now, depending on what kind of oils you like, if you are a fan of doTERRA, you might maybe use the On Guard variety. If you like Young Living, you might want to use their Thieves, or if you're a fan of the Now brand, it would be the Nature Shield. All three of those are basically very similar formulas and all will do the same thing, all rather antibacterial. You could also use tea tree oil in this, but today I'm going to use a blend of lemon and eucalyptus because I just love this fragrance. It's very fresh. Now to make this, I'm going to use the unscented. This particular one is Dr. Bronner's brand. Uh, I also have some peppermint from Sprouts. So it really doesn't matter which Castile soap you use, whatever your favorite brand is, that's the one you would use. I tend to go with the unscented the most simply because there is no fragrance so I can add any kind of essential oil that I want and there won't be any sort of conflict of fragrance. Now of course if the only one that you have on hand or the only one that you can find is already scented that's okay. You can either omit the essential oils or you could simply use an oil that is complementary to the fragrance of the Castile soap. So for instance since this one is peppermint, I might add vanilla oil to this because peppermint and vanilla together will smell like candy canes and just be absolutely lovely. And peppermint is very fresh, so that's really not something that you would just use around the holidays. You could do that combination any time of year and it would be absolutely fantastic. All right, so to do the hand soap, so like I said, this is gonna be a 16 ounce batch and the foaming bottle that I have, uh, it just uses a mason jar and the cap, which I got from Amazon, but you can do this with pretty much 
any size bottle that you have. If you had a pre-made bottle of foaming hand soap and you know the kind that you bought at the store and the bottle's empty, save the container, save the, the bottle with the foaming nozzle. Just rinse it out and reuse it. Because what is important here isn't the exact size of the container, but the ratio that you're going to use. So like I said, for 16 ounces, I'm going to use four ounces of Castile soap, which would be a half a cup in here. So it is very convenient that this is a mason jar container. Half a cup. Then I'm going to add the fragrance. And like I said, I'm going to use the lemon eucalyptus. And you can alter this, you can adjust it to how much fragrance or how little fragrance you want. And quite frankly, you don't have to use any fragrance if you don't want to. So for this size bottle, I think today I'm just going to put about 12 drops in. And now I'm just going to fill it the rest of the way up with water. All right, then reattach the lid. And I'm just going to turn this over a couple of times to mix it all together. So that is it, super easy economical and penny saving foaming hand soap. Any fragrance that you want. So like I said, I do have an article about this simple tutorial on my blog cosmopolitancornbread.com as well as hundreds of recipes and articles, helpful hints and tutorials. So thanks for stopping on by. My name is Constance from cosmopolitancornbread.com and I'll talk to you all next time.